Hi, I am Penny Williams, and I am the founder of Parenting ADHD and Autism and the Parenting ADHD and Autism Academy. And I am making this short video for you today to talk about your mindset as the parent of a child with ADHD. What I have learned over the years is that our mindset is everything. The thoughts that we have are super powerful and our mindset about our parenting and about our child is so crucial. So the first piece of that that I want to share with you today is the difference between the psychological victim and the psychological survivor. What I learned when I started looking for a better way, because I was so tired of being heavy under the muck of negativity and worry and stress, was I discovered this psychological approach called the psychological victim or the psychological survivor. We have a choice. Each and every one of us absolutely has a choice. We can choose to be a victim or we can choose to be a survivor. And it's not that, you know, this parenting is so horrendous that we have to survive it, like, you know, going through cancer or something. I'm not saying that. It's more about just the mindset of a survivor is so helpful to all of us every day in our lives. So the psychological victim, what does that look like? That's um, the person who feels like they have no control over anything in their life. They feel completely helpless. Things happen to them, not because they choose them. They feel like they cannot change their circumstances. If you are a psychological victim, you might ask yourself, why me? Why did I have a special needs child? Why does my child have to struggle? Um, you know, these things are looking at this parenthood from the lens that we can't do anything to help. And that, too, that this parenthood and this life for our kids who have ADHD or autism is going to be nothing but negative and hard. And that's just not true. Our kids with ADHD and autism can have a successful, joyful, happy life. It's a matter of what that looks like for them. It might look different than what we assume in our culture. Um, then on the other hand, you have the psychological survivor. This person has hope and optimism. When something is hard or difficult or challenging, they may feel uneasy or bad about that, of course, but the key is that they feel optimistic that it will get better. They believe, they have faith that things can and will get better. They are resilient. A psychological survivor becomes very resilient because of this focus on gratitude, what we do have and not what we don't have, what we can control and not what we cannot control. These things are so monumentally important, not just to us. I'm not talking about just for you. Of course, this is phenomenal for you. Changing your perspective, changing your mindset for the positive, being hopeful, having faith that things will work out, that is all transformative and empowering for you. But it also translates to our kids and our families. Imagine your household if you are the psychological victim and then imagine your household if you take on the role of the psychological survivor. Suddenly, there's hope. Yes, there's challenge. Yes, school's hard. Yes, um, you know, impulsivity is an issue. But you're looking forward and knowing that in the future, near or far, you can 
affect change and things can get better. And when we feel like we have control in our lives, we are not nearly as stressed or anxious. We don't have to worry so much. And part of this, adopting the psychological survivor mindset is learning to let go of some things. And I can hear every type A mom out there saying, right now, I can't let go of anything. I was that person. I am totally a type A worrier. I even have anxiety. I even take medication for anxiety because so much anxiety. And I was still able to make the shift and let go of the minutia, let go of the things that aren't so important because we are making them more important than they are by spending so much time and energy worrying about them. Not everything is crucial. Cut some of the minutiae away and start focusing on the priorities and keep that optimistic, resilient mindset. It takes time. It takes practice. It takes a lot of awareness on your part, catching yourself being negative, shifting to more positive. But I promise you it is so doable and it will change your lives. I could almost hear an audible sigh of relief in our house when I started to make this shift for myself. And everything for ADHD, for autism, for my child has changed dramatically for the better, even his own attitude about his own struggles. And we are seeing more and more successes for him, more and more joy. So it totally translates to our kids, but it's so valuable for us too. So sit down, take a minute to think about, do you have a victim mindset or survivor mindset and make a choice. Take some control back for you and for your entire family.